Okay. okay. All right, so because we have mental opportunities here and not technical opportunities, we need to control the things that we are thinking about, right? Every stage has three opportunities for thought. Before, during, after, okay? What should we be thinking about before we shoot? How are you gonna shoot it? Stage plan. Stage plan, yeah. Okay, we need to analyze, strategize, memorize, visualize our plan. If we are doing anything other than that, we're wasting, well, we're not using our time efficiently, okay? It is extremely important that you get to double digit reps of your stage plan, okay? To create a subconscious stage plan. Who had a subconscious stage plan? I thought I did. Yes or no? I thought I did. Okay, all right, good. So we need to get a subconscious stage plan so let's call that SCSP with positive imprints, okay? We need a subconscious stage plan with positive imprints, okay? And what that means is, check this out, my first time, you're gonna use your conscious mind to create a subconscious stage plan. This is so, this is so cool. <laughs> I literally just got this Monday, okay? Now, as you do that, you're sending imprints to your self-image which is your confidence level, okay? So as you're creating your plan, you're using your conscious mind to evaluate options and make decisions. Those things are moving to the subconscious, okay? Your opinion about your plan and your ability to execute it goes straight to self-image. We'll call that your confidence reservoir, okay? And your confidence reservoir tip, <laughs> reservoir tip, <laughs> comes up here. The more confidence you are, the more subconscious skill and subconscious stage plan you get. And that is what determines your performance. Okay? Those three things work together. All right? So before, we need a subconscious stage plan with good positive imprints. Who felt good about their plan and their ability to execute it? Okay. And you did really well. Thanks. Who did not like their plan or their ability to execute it? Who was nervous or worried about certain shots? And you had a little trouble, didn't you? Okay, so what should we be thinking about during? What should we be thinking about while we shoot? Executing the film. Okay, can we be a little more specific? Executing it correctly. Okay, okay. who shoots their best when they're thinking about nothing? Were you able to do that? No. no. Okay, so during, we want, our, we want those thoughts as low as possible. Okay, we want zero or one and a low number of thoughts per second equals high points per second. The, the, the lower your number of thoughts per second, the higher your points per second. And the more thoughts you have per second, the lower points per second. And I'll give you an example, okay? Get a fast draw, don't miss the steal. Crap, I missed the steal. Now what? I don't know, run! Do I need to reload? Okay, these targets are easy, let's just blast them. Now what? I don't know, reload again, maybe? What, what about that? That's a no-shoot. Crap, I hate those. I'm not very good at those. Oh, crap, I had a no-shoot. Come over here, oh, good, more partials. Is that a mic? Did I, did I hit anything? Let's look at the white target, everything's fine. Okay, now what? I don't know, reload again. Let's get to the end. Go, 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 go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Did I hit the steal? It's a high number of points per second. Oh, sorry, thoughts per second. Okay, and never more than one at a time, all right? Those are, those are all competing for your attention one at a time, okay? What would be a good lower number of things to think about? What, what would be a good one thing to think about? Shoot the gun. Yeah. Hit Where? the target. Hit the target. Yeah. And I think everybody, we have one or maybe two iron sight shots, okay? Two places to start. Center the dot, or I will see what I need to see. You did not see what you needed to see. You chose to go fast. And you did go fast. You had a great time. You probably had the best time. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, your 75 penalty, uh, penalty points <laughs> sort of offset that time a little bit, didn't it? Right? Okay, so if we pick one thing to think about, that's, that's the best. So, so we call that either a focus phrase or a point of focus. Okay. Now, what should we think about afterwards? Okay, we execute. Okay. 
before how, you execute the plan. What I did right first. You know I, did I think first. about what I did, how what I fucked up. Yeah. How's, yeah. That, how's that going for you? It sucks. It's not going good. No. Okay. So, here's what I want you to do after. Things that you did fuck up, yeah. I want you to do a mental, oops, reshoot in which you get it right. Okay. You should close your eyes see the correct execution of the stage. You will probably find the difference between your actual run and your mental reshoot is probably going to be a little bit more visual patience. You're probably in your mental reshoot gonna actually see the dot <coughs> in the middle of the target, okay? That would be a good idea, Ooh. right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I, I, I hit some, I had a new lever of brilliance earlier when I said, if we're not gonna see our dot when we shoot, what's the point of zero in it? What's the point of even turning it on? You didn't even need to turn yours on, right? You, you could have gone from occluded to diluted with zero dot at all, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna get a subconscious stage plan with positive imprints, and we're gonna pick something to think about to control our performance, okay? What you guys gotta understand is that you will always get whatever you are thinking about. So if you are thinking about speed, you will get it. But if you think about putting the dot in the middle of the target, you will also get that, okay? The two biggest problems in the sport are the conscious control of speed during competition and negative imprints. Yeah, so, so <clears throat> to achieve, I guess, you know, your highest level, you need both, right? Need both what? You need, you need speed and accuracy. Right. Right, so you need both. So where do you, I mean, like you say, he focuses on speed and accuracy will come. I focus on accuracy, speed will come. You know, what's the better way to do Training it? is for speed. Training is for speed. And accuracy, okay? Shot calling is for the ultimate blend of both. There is no free speed on match day. You gotta pay for that with accuracy, okay? And remember, the conscious control of speed and negative imprints are the two biggest problems of the sport. If you're going out and you're choosing uh, to go fast or to go slow, you'll always make the wrong choice, okay? I got to drive a 2015 Subaru that has adapt adaptive cruise control. Yeah. That means I set the cruise control at 80. If there's traffic, the car slows down. Traffic clears out, the car goes faster. I have to do a thing. I'm not controlling speed. The traffic is controlling my speed, and targets are traffic. Let the, tra let the targets control your speed, not you. Okay. If I'd been in my Chevy Silverado with cruise control at 8, I'd have hit everything. <laughs> it would have been bad. But this little Subaru I was driving knows what to do. Very smart. Okay, thank you very much, Vic.